I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, they just want it free. Be competitive with yourself. Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Sean for another video. Uh, before I start this video, uh, I just want to start saying like a little positive tidbit right before I begin the video. I always end it with what I say, but I just want to start it off that way. You know what I mean? I always want to sp spread positive motivational energy uh, no matter what you're going through no matter uh, what you think you're gonna go through it doesn't matter you know what i mean just uh be consistent in your life keep moving forward and um don't stop that's all i'm gonna say about that so uh Oh, before I even get to this video, it has nothing to do with this actual video, but any of my PlayStation users out there, did y'all see that update? I know I'm probably late to the game because I haven't been on the PS stuff for a minute, but, you know, they finally activated uh, the speaker right here. This little button right here finally works. Maybe not 100% ideally how I want to for every single thing, but the fact that it can actually work in, in without... Uh, well, with way more limit, less limitations than what it was when it first launched. You couldn't really use it for anything, really. Um, but now you can, you know, say launch Netflix and all this other stuff. I think that's pretty dope. About time, right? So this particular one right here, as you see in my other videos, um, I'm not no expert. Let me start by saying that uh, this is not for advice. This is not for, you know, teaching you really anything. It's more about just my life experience and my journey that I'm currently in. Um, I... I you know, like when I was a little kid, I was like shooting muskets and rifles and that type of stuff at one point. Nothing serious, no modern stuff like handguns or, um, you know, that type of stuff. No automatic weapons, etc. Uh, have I ever shot them? Of course, but uh, I, I'm not like I would. I'm very much still like a newbie stage with all of this stuff. So uh, I guess the quick disclaimer: if you ever see me acting in a newbie fashion or pronounce something wrong or describe something uh, not accurately, I mean. I'm telling you right now because I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? If you want to help out and, um, you know, leave a comment below and, and help me figure that out if I did something wrong. I'll try not to say it if I don't know it. Um, so, and I'll avoid saying certain things that I don't know what I'm talking about. I just kind of generalize it in a sense, if that makes sense. So this is not for you pros out there or even uh, super well-experienced uh, persons out there. This is for people that's like me, just trying to get into it, who have a respect for in, in safety uh, in safety regards and just respect for the firearms itself. Um, I know they're not toys and, and I don't treat them as such. Uh, I, I just want to take you, take you along the journey as I feel more comfortable. I will be, uh, where I'm at, it's not an open carry or a uh, conceal, um, unless you have, uh, uh, you know, the right, uh, what is it called? Permits or license for it, um, which is in the process for me. It's just that I'm in baby stages at this point and that's where it's going to head to. Right. So for me, it's for a sport. It's for protection and it's just for collection. I enjoy it. I, I admire it. When I like something, I, I go all in as far as what my understanding is of it and what I want to get from it. So let's talk in. Let me show you real quick, though, what I had to do. If you saw my Glock um, 45 video, uh, it was kind of just displaying what it was. I'm not talking about anything in the the uh, details of the firearm or taking it apart. I'll get to that point when I start learning certain things, but I was just talking about the experience and just showing you um, what I picked up, you know? And I think because they had to keep opening the case and there's a lot of stuff that comes with the Glock case when you first purchase it, I think they smushed my sights a little bit. Me being at my, I went to a, instead of a corporate place where I got these at, this is the Glock 45. What I did is, I ended up going to a local gun shop because there's plenty around uh, wherever you're located. There's going to be some somewhere nearby in, in, you know, in a certain mile radius for sure. Um, this site right here in the front was messed up. Uh, I was recommended the True Glows, so I was going to get True Glow. And then this one right here, I guess, it, I don't know if it's respected. I didn't really get time to look it up or anything like that. I just went for it. It was quite a bit cheaper than True Glows. It was still under $100, but it's still pricey to me for what it is. But these are called Ameriglows. Um, if you can see right here, you got the orange. I think True Glows are green, if I remember right. Um, but this is what was wedged off. Um, and yeah, so I got that replaced. And this is the new uh, rear sights. Either way, it's fixed. So I'm happy about that. I'm happy about the setup. This is going to pretty much remain stock. I have new magazines coming in. And yes, one of the videos I was referring to them as clips. I, I understand I screwed up on that. Um, I realized it after. But I'm getting, uh, in my state, this, this is what they're going to give you. They're going to short you uh, 
on certain things like this where maybe in other states uh, certain firearms will come with uh, different um, capacities, right? So uh, I got to order or just go out of state and get the larger ones. I think it's like a 17 uh, capacity, if I'm not mistaken. And I want one that's like a 33 or 20. I don't remember what it was. I just know it's going to be a little goofy. It's going to hang out quite a bit, but it's just something that I want. And um, some of the other firearm pickups that I have, it's already in process. I just have to wait so I can pick them up. Um, a lot of those are uh, Glock compatible as far as like 19s and 17s. So I'll be able to use these same magazines for some of these other pickups, which I think is pretty dope. Um, I'm getting quite a few of these because I'm kind of starting off from scratch. So I like what I like and I just want them. Some of y'all may think I don't need them. That's probably true, but it's what I want. And so that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I want some other ones that I just like range guns. I mean, they could be used for other reasons, for protection, for, you know, all kind of scenarios, right? But for me particularly, I just want it for fun, for entertainment for myself. I want to take it to the range, um, you know, shoot some rounds off and just enjoy myself, right? I thought it was interesting. So uh, I think they're called PCCs, I believe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but one that I saw, um, let me know if you think, what you guys think about the PC charger. I'm really interested in it in my hand without knowing anything about it i was really interested in that one first but i ended up getting a different one and uh, i'll show it to you i think it next week I, i'm able to pick it up it's a scorpion um i forgot the name of it already scorpion something but um scorpion evo three plus i think that's what it is s3 plus i believe that's what it is it looks pretty dope you can add the brace to it and you can add all these different things to it whatever let me know what you think though about the one i just said about the ruger if it's something that you think will be um a dope pickup uh, i heard good and bad things about both of them between that and the scorpion the scorpion one is more expensive but I try not to think about the money too much, even though you have to in a lot of circumstances. I just want to know what is actually better despite the price tag, because sometimes cheaper stuff can be better in a lot of different ways, despite the price tag being cheaper. It's just uh, sometimes people rely on the name so much that the price tag is so high and it doesn't actually make sense of why it costs more. Right. One thing I will say, not get into that detail when that actually when that comes in, because just for being a first impression and not even knowing much about those, just being interested in it from an aesthetic perspective and just being like, ooh, ah, like that's pretty nice. I, I would love to have something like that and experience it. Uh, I'm gonna give you that perspective, basically, very generic. Um, so, but when I was there, I also saw this, uh, which is actually considered a rifle. So they let me take it home right away. But I think this is actually pretty cool too. And for me, in I think it's pretty inexpensive. I guess for firearms, for this price range, you can get a lot of things out there. But um, yeah, let me show you this real quick. This right here um, is very interesting to me. There is one thing that I already don't like about it. It's not I don't like. It's just kind of awkward, I would say, in handling it. Um, but I think it's very cool. Uh, when I looked it up after the fact, it seemed like a lot of people uh, found interest in this and the, um, that Ruger I was talking about and the Scorpion. So I think that's pretty dope. And I, I can learn a lot. And um, hopefully um, I can just share my experience with y'all too and the glock 19 mos is still on its way i still have to wait for that also um and i did another i'll, I'll wait until I, I, I i'll just make the video about it and you'll see what i'm saying there's a few quite a few all right so this one right here is actually a caltech this is the box it doesn't come in any fancy case or anything like that this is cool though so this is the sub 2000 um i think this is pretty dope though let me show you this is the magazine that comes with it Oh, so this is what I put on my, um, it's Ameriglow. Y'all tell me, I don't know, is that generic or is it just a different brand that's decent or what? So in this box, it just comes with that. It comes with a booklet. Let me just show you. And another piece of paper. It tells you which, I think, compatible magazines are there. Let me just show you this real quick, though. I saw it on the shelf like this. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get the light reflecting off of it. I saw it on a shelf like this, and I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't really paying attention to it. I thought it was just like a, 
uh, just this part of the gun, like the brace area. Like that's all I thought it was. I wasn't really looking at it. It would. I didn't really pay attention to it. Then I was like, the longer I was at the place, because as you know, when you purchase firearms, you have to do paperwork and it, it can take some time. The more time I was in this uh, smaller shop, I, I had way more time to look around and just observe things. I'm like, hey, well, what's that? Hey, that looks cool. That looks interesting. What's that? And I just kept asking more and more questions. And next thing you know, I was purchasing more and more items. And yeah, so I had to purchase one item that i wasn't even interested in all no i would say one two three three that i wasn't even on my radar at all that i ended up doing um but the other ones i wanted it's just i didn't know um luckily they had them in stock but again i'll show you that in another video so this particular one right here is very interesting it's cool to me um it's very compact it's very lightweight i think it only weighs like four pounds or something like that definitely i would say under five uh, pounds but the cool thing about this is you see right here is this G17 or whatever. It takes like Glock 17, Glock 19 magazines. So if you look right here, this right here is the same. Let me pull this out. This is for my Glock 45, right? As you can see, they're they're the same. Well, one's an off brand, but you know what I'm saying. It, I thought this is very interesting. They fit. And I think, I don't know if it's a 33 or 32 uh, capacity magazine or whatever that longer one is. You could put it in here too. Um, obviously, going to change the shape or dynamic of, you know, you, well, this is considered a rifle. Um, but I think it's pretty dope. Now, with this right here, the hard part to me is this. This is so, I was like, damn, I'm either weak or something or I don't know. It's just awkward to me. This is very hard has a lot a it's like a very strong tension like a little bit too much I, I, don't, I don't like this um but anyway if you just pull this lever i'm pretty sure if you already are, are uh into firearms of any kind you probably been saw videos about this that's way more um structured and informative but like, again this is like for someone like me who i didn't even know existed and i didn't know this existed you know this is uh you can this is threaded you can unscrew this and put like a suppressor or something on here whatever but anyway and i'm going to do that too with at least one of one or two of mine i'm not really sure which ones yet but anyway this little lever right here you just pull it if you can see as you pull it you push this away so i'm gonna pull it up and push up then what happens is this it starts unfolding i'm gonna just show you like this Again, it's very lightweight. And then here you have this. I think this is pretty dope. If you look at this right here, you can push... No, where'd it go? We're in here. Hold on. Yeah, right here. You can push it in a little bit to relieve the tension, and you can knock this pin out, and you can adjust these... Uh, the three different settings. I push mine out a little bit. I just f This is a little uncomfortable, to be honest with you. The way it sits... And the way you have to look through it, it's a little awkward, a little bit. You can obviously make it work, but it is a little awkward. But this is the thing right here that is very hard to pull back. Um, it does come with sights, which is nice. That um, that Ruger I was telling you about doesn't come with sights. It, it, it doesn't come with um, a brace. Neither does that Scorpion thing I got. But it's really cool. It has like this rail. I call it a rail. I don't know. In photography terms, that's what they call it, where you attach accessories, etc. So I don't know what they call it in... Um, this world but yeah you can add a lot of things on here i wouldn't put something um in certain areas only because the only thing i don't like is when you when you fold it though you're gonna wherever you mount it here is gonna hit so this is how you unfold it right here you just pull up and then you push and that's it and you start folding it let me show you you start folding it and that's it so if you mounted something and you put it up here um you're gonna hit it and stuff so i don't like that uh unless you don't want to fold it or whatever so those other two, the Ruger and the Scorpion, I want to put red dots on those. I think that'll be, I think that'll be nice. But this one right here, like I said, it's just this right here is so hard to pull back. I'm not even joking. Like it's, I'm struggling right here at the angle that I'm doing. I gotta put this on my chest and push it back, and then you can pull it like that. Um, I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm being weak on here. I think it's because of the way I'm holding it, but it is very like tight to me. It's a lot more, uh. It's a lot more than I want it to be. It didn't feel comfortable. You know what I mean? I feel like if I let uh, like a, a petite female shoot this and she would have a tough time pulling this back. And then that's a very hard snap. So, um, yeah. I don't know. That's pretty much it. So hopefully that went too loud for y'all. But, uh, yeah, I think this is pretty dope. It's very interesting. It is considered a rifle 9 millimeter. It may not look awkward, but it feels sort of 
it feels awkward. You know what I'm saying? I have to have this higher up. I can't have it like wedged down here and then look. I mean, I can. I mean, obviously I can. It just feels a little uncomfortable. I don't, I, I've read or seen other people say the same thing. So I know it's not just me. And I think these are, you can't move these. This site right here in the back, you can't move it. But this one you can adjust. If you look right here, hopefully you can see it closely. There is adjustments right there. Uh, let me see. There it goes. You can adjust that. What do y'all think about this? What's your perspective on this right here? I think it's pretty dope um, with the folding and it seems like it'd be pretty easy to clean, etc. Very compact, very lightweight. Um, yeah, I'm just a big uh, nine millimeter fan at this point. I would love to get some type of um, higher powered... Uh, firearm or, or I, I have to find out the laws where i'm at i don't i don't know what the like i gotta figure all that stuff out but uh with that being said um let me see definitely gotta go i definitely want to go and get uh go across the state and get different uh, magazines though for sure i love how it, it you can share different magazines across the different um uh firearms that i have i think that's pretty dope uh what else what else yeah stay tuned i got a lot of pickups that i want to show you first again this is i'm on a, like a journey so i'm going to show you first and then over time i'm going to kind of the more i learn about things i want to share that journey so again for people who are like me who just want to get into it probably a lot younger than me and stuff like that um because i feel like most people probably in my age range already are into this stuff for the most part um but i'm not so i'm just going to share it from my perspective uh because at the end of the day it ain't even really about age this is about experience when i go to certain ranges when i go out i plan on shooting even out of state ranges and stuff like that when i get to the point of the concealed portion of it i, I share some of that information as well um uh, for anybody who's a newbie like me and then hopefully over as years go by i mean i won't keep calling myself a newbie you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it um yeah so with that being said make sure you do everything at the top level i can't even talk make sure you oh and make sure you're always being safe first these are not toys i don't care uh uh don't be uh don't be immature about it man be safe uh make sure you do everything at top level at your top level and remember you're no competition with anybody except yourself so make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move till next time later